So this video has nothing to do with web development or anything like that. It's just to discuss a, a little short video on something called Large Files Finder. And you would find this in the Microsoft Store. Um, and also I'll uh, show the website as well where you can have a look at this. It's by a company called Quiplex, I think you call it. Um, not quite sure how you pronounce that, but anyway. Uh, so you can get it from the Microsoft Store and, as I say, from the website. So if you can download this, and there's sometimes I have trouble with downloading from the Microsoft Store. I don't use, use it a lot, um, but I find that some things work and some don't. Um, I've been using this Large Files Finder free for quite a long time now, and uh, I've found that it's really good. And usually I've found where I can do the search of the files that it actually finds that's, uh, that's taken up a lot of space on your drive. But there are some that you don't, and there's some recently that I've had really trouble with of finding things even through a search. So what I did was I bought the, uh, the paid version, and that one gives you more functionality and where the folders are and things like that. Um, again, I had difficulty downloading it, so I went to the people's, the developers' website, and uh, they showed us, uh, you know, from there, and was able to install it correctly. So, what it is? So, I have a very, very small local disk. So, it has uh, fifty-seven point four gigabytes, which I think is about sixty-four gigabytes. But then you've got Windows and stuff like that. So the free space is twenty-two point seven gigabytes. Um, even though this is a very small one, a small uh, space, even on big drives and things like that, on a uh, gaming laptop and that that I've got, you st I still I use raw files a lot through photographs, and I also use something called .e01, which is a digital forensic file. Um, and these take up absolutely loads of gigabytes. So even on uh, large disks, it still can be a problem. So just um, load that up, and this is what you find, large files finder, and add disk or folder. So I'm just gonna go and find the local disk. So got that. So I come offline here so that it's totally disconnected and we definitely know that it's just on the local drive. So the folder selected, obviously the uh, Windows, and that just file, and then you just scan. So I'll just leave it there to it goes all the way through the, the drive. So that's, uh, that's finished now. And I think this type of... Um, app would appeal to many many people i think i think it's a great idea so you can have the you know just uh skin like this so you can have the dark skin as well which looks quite cool and what it's found is uh an mp4 that's nearly two gigabytes it's also found another one that's 1.6 it's found a zero um an e dot zero one files quite a few of those so there's a lot of things there that uh, yeah that's that's taken up gigabytes so if we just do that and and here's another one we'll just that's another uh, so on here is the just two files so we we'll just remove that delete permanently and then this thing, you save 3.5 gig. So this is a very interesting app and it's very nicely done. Uh, found the uh, people who uh, develop it very helpful in uh, getting it sorted out. So I just thought I'd find, you know, if anybody finds this type of thing interesting, then I would imagine that people do because you do, there's, there's many times where you want a lot more space and it, it just isn't there. Uh, for many different reasons, there's a lot of people like me who use lots of video footage and as 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 I say um dot zero one files there's, there's all sorts and raw files as well as when I'm taking photographs and things like that. So there's many things can take up loads of gigabytes on your drive even if you've got a, a you know a large uh, large drive it, it 
it's uh, it's just getting rid of all the space and that so yeah so thanks for watching this video and hope you find it helpful